Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, back here on Wager Talk TV with your baseball update for Tuesday, May the 25th. I'm going to give you a free baseball play for Tuesday night, a game that was just a bit outside for making my strong best bet card tonight. Still a game that I think has some value. It's worthy maybe of a 1% to 2% play. I'm going to give that to you free here in just a moment. Hey, quick reminder, I have an additional free baseball play, another free play for you on my page right now at wagertalk.com, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, a bonus free play. Another game for tonight on my page right now. Also, for my direct subscribers, a strong 4% MLB best bet tonight. But the big play tonight, i got to let you know, a rare 5% best bet for me. My NBA game of the month goes tonight on Tuesday. Wouldn't think it could get much better than that because I'm 6-2, and 75% of the NBA playoffs already. But guess what? It gets better. I'm making it available for just $2. That's nearly a 95% discount off the normal rate. Here's why I'm doing it. I've told you week after week here on these videos that the NBA playoffs has been the most consistent moneymaker for me during my 25-year career as a professional handicapper. I'm proving it once again with a 6-2, 75% start after the first week of this playoffs. Hey, if you missed the first week, shame on you, but there's still several months to go in the NBA postseason. Get on board tonight. I want everyone to get to play, and that's why I'm making my 5% NBA game of the month just $2 tonight because I know after you win the night, You'll reinvest into a longer-term package. You'll get baseball and basketball, and you'll start taking a serious investment approach all summer long and continue to build that bankroll, double, triple, quadruple that bankroll before the football season starts this fall. Once again, 6-2, and 75% of the NBA playoffs after the first week, and now I'm releasing my 5% NBA game of the month. It goes tonight on Tuesday, a strong best bet, and you can get it right now for a very special price, just $2 on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, let's get to a free baseball play for tonight on Tuesday. This is a game that was just a bit outside for making my best bet card. I still think it's worth a look, maybe a 1% to 2% opinion play, and that's under 8 between the Cardinals and White Sox. That game goes at 8 p.m. Eastern tonight on Tuesday. Uh, first of all, Joe West is going to break history tonight as an umpire. Really a cool story, actually. Last night he tied the most games ever, over 5,000-plus games. He is going to break that record tonight. He's been umpiring since 1976. Longest ever in Major League Baseball, and he's going to have the most games ever tonight on Tuesday. So that's a cool little side note. I was watching a lot of the game last night, actually, as well. And one thing that remains constant with the Cardinals the last couple of nights has been their offense is ice cold. You know, I had a rare miss. Been red hot in all sports, as you all know, um, but had a rare miss Sunday night for my clients with the Cardinals over the Cubs. Felt like I had the right side in that game. Cardinals had the bases loaded with no outs in the bottom of the seventh inning and could not get a single run. Bases loaded, no outs. All they needed was one run to win that game. Goes into extra innings scoreless. You put the runner on second. It was the first time, by the way, all games Chicago had, had a runner on second base. And that was by default. They get a one-off home run. They win the game 2-0. Uh, but my point is the Cardinals offense is ice cold. Cubs were even more ice cold, in my opinion, in that game. St. Louis probably should have gotten the win. Didn't happen. But then last night, the Cardinals weren't hitting either. You know, I turned that game on. Middle of the game, it's 0-0. Uh, the White Sox did have a misleading 5-1 win last night, but they only had six hits in the entire game. Uh, White Sox also are struggling offensively. And keep in mind, they've been dominant against left-handed pitchers. They faced the South Korean starter Kim last night for the Cardinals. They got to him. Uh, they're about to pull him. They left him in for an extra hitter, and he gives up a big home run, which changed the game. The White Sox are now 24-3 and against left-handed starters the last couple seasons. And if you look at their numbers this year, they're crushing lefties once again, uh, batting almost 25, uh, 35 points higher against left-handed pitchers, uh, averaging almost two and a half runs per nine innings more against lefties. That was last night. Tonight, they're now facing a right-handed starter and one that has pretty good numbers this season uh, overall with uh, Flaherty. Flaherty, a 2.5 ERA, a 0.99 whip. And now Flaherty has benefited from facing some weak offenses this year. I'm well aware that I actually think there'll be an opportunity to fade Flaherty in the near future when he faces a good hot offense. But once again, the White Sox are not a hot offense right now. Uh, they have had six hits or less in six straight games. Uh, before last night's outburst, uh, they had scored two runs or less in three of their previous four games. And once again, they got five runs last night on just six hits. Not that impressive. As I mentioned, the Cardinals just as cold, if not colder. Two runs or less now in three straight games. Uh, they've had six hits or less in three straight games. Uh, so two offenses that are not hitting the ball and two pitchers that have solid numbers. You know, I mentioned Fla Flaherty's good ERA, good whip. Now, Giolito for the White Sox, 4.35 ERA, very mediocre, but his whip is a 1.19, walks and hits per innings pitched. That's a more true indicator, in my opinion, of a pitcher's ability. And Giolito is a real quick, interesting story. This is a guy that just three years ago, back in the uh, 2018 season, 
gave up the most earned runs in all of baseball and had the most walks in the American League. And then all of a sudden, one year later, he finishes sixth in the Cy Young voting and seventh last year, was an all-star one year later after that terrible outing in 18. He turned things around. He cut his walks in half. He basically almost doubled his strikeouts from 2018 to 2019. And he's become just a totally different pitcher. And once again, his career numbers are very misleading. He's been much better the last several years, the last two and a half years. And once again, this year, he's a lot better than that mediocre ERA uh, because he's not walking guys and his walks and hits innings pitched is solid. So he's not putting guys on base. Cardinals aren't hitting the ball. White Sox are also cold offensively. All adds up to under eight tonight between the White Sox and Cardinals. Goes at eight o'clock Eastern on Tuesday evening. That was a game that was just a bit outside for making my cup. But as you can see, there's still value there. I'd recommend treating this as a one to two percent opinion play. White Sox Cardinals under eight. Your free play here for this video. I've got a bonus free play between the Brewers and Padres tonight. Another game that was just a bit outside uh, for making my cut. It's another bonus play. I treat it as maybe a one to two percent opinion. That's on my page right now, wagertalk.com, Steve Merrill. Don't forget my direct subscribers are getting a strong 4% baseball bets, best bet tonight. That's another reason I highly recommend a direct package. Not only do you save almost 90% off the daily rate, but you get every official play. That baseball 4% is available to direct subscribers only tonight. But of course, the play that's available to everybody and the biggest play on the board is my 5% NBA game of the month. Six and two, 75% of the NBA playoffs after the first week. Several months to go. My NBA game of the month goes tonight. It's a 5%er, and I'm making it available for just $2 because I honestly want each and every one of you to take advantage. No excuses. $2 gets you the 5% NBA game of the month. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want serious investors. I know you get it. You spend a couple bucks. You get the play. You make money. You add it to your bankroll, and you reinvest it into a longer-term subscription so you can get that strong 4% baseball play tonight and get every baseball and basketball best bet I release every day. Same games I've won consistently with now for 25 years as a full-time professional handicapper. Once again, my 5% NBA Game of the Month goes tonight on Tuesday. 6-2, and 75% of the playoffs, and it's just $2 right now. Wagertalk.com, along with an additional free baseball play on that page as well. Hey, best of luck as always. Thanks for watching this video. I'll be back all week long with more baseball videos right here on Wager Talk TV. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like the content. Also, please subscribe to Wager Talk TV for free videos each and every day. And most importantly, leave me a comment below. Let me know who you like tonight in both baseball and basketball. And let me know your thoughts on the Tuesday night card. Best of luck as always. I'll talk to you again soon right here on Wager Talk TV.